All right. Kumpi aja sa likod tingin ano. Smanin. Na 2023, Madia Jamaica. Be exact is December. December 2023. Um, ship down some goods from America. Well, it's a drive shaft. It's a used drive shaft for your truck. Ship it down from, from the US and go, go to Jamaica. Um, to receive it and clear it. Now, after I got Jamaica to receive and clear it, well, call and I got off to receive the goods. You understand? And they are off with the goods. I receive it when I pay because we get it from a junkyard. So the, the junkyard write me a receipt, a valuable receipt. The junkyard write me a receipt. And I go to the wharf in Jamaica, in Montego Bay, to be exact, the wharf in Montego Bay. And this is what occurs at the wharf. Now, at the wharf, I, I get an immigration officer um, to look at my product and, and do the paperwork and tell me how much duty I need to pay to the Jamaican government. Now, by doing that, I tell, when the officer look at my, at my, and, 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 and my items, I tell the officer, look, I got a receipt for my items, for how much I pay for the item in the U.S. The officer says she don't need the receipt. No. She says she don't need the receipt. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh, you're going to value my product without my receipt. And you say, if I bring my receipt, come. My receipt is good enough to value my product. So therefore, I'm not about to even say anything. Um, I sit there quietly and waiting and, and she to, to do what she's doing because I want to see, oh, she go reach the numbers and the valuation on my product. Um, when she come back, she give me a and I said, I said, okay, no problem. The sum that she give me was even more than what I pay for the, for the item. But because I was there for a long period of time, I said, okay, no problem. I, I still going to pay it. And I'm not going to argue with it because 90% of the time with Jamaica government, you cannot win. Period. You're not going to win because the Jamaican government set the system that the people, the immigration officials, are going to always rob you in Jamaica. It doesn't matter what you do. You can't escape that because they got an alternate motive because it doesn't start from those. The officers that you see in the office it start from the bigger heads. No, we're not going to get into that, that part of it. But no, so she come back and she tell me, go pay this. Now, after I'm done pay and bring back the paperwork to her, for she to release my product, she go tell me, say, she go ask me, say, where my receipt? So I end up giving her my receipt. She go tell me, say, she cannot use my receipt. You ain't tell me, say, you don't want the receipt in the first place. So why are you asking me for the receipt now? No. No, saying this to say that. No, she asked me for the receipt. Me still get the receipt. She said she can't use my receipt. Why you gonna use my receipt for and do you already value my stuff? No. She come back now and say, she have to go revalue my stuff again because me, she cannot use my receipt. So me say, I thought that's what you just done, did and I go and pay the money. So anyways, I don't fight with her because the problem is, I me tell you already, you cannot win with the Jamaican government. There is no justice because the problem is, the, the robbing starts from the bigger heads. No. By dear, and I said, do what you want to do. I tell her, do what she wants to do. So now, she come back, she value me things again, a second time. A second time, she value me stuff again, you know, and tell me go pay a sum amount of money. We said, no problem. 
Because money is not my problem, you know. I'm just, I just want to get my goods and leave. So I said, no problem. The first time when I go out to the cashier to pay for my goods, I use my bank card. Right? And I swipe my bank card and I pay. Now, the second time when I go back now, if I go pay for my goods, if I go pay again, what the sum amount what they say I'm supposed to pay. When I go back there, the machine is broken. That was just 10 minutes ago, you know. That was just 10 minutes ago, you know. By the time I go back there now, them tell me, say, the machine is broken, I have to pay cash. They say, no, I'm not paying no cash. I don't know, me don't know where cash I go. First of all, you value my stuff already and tell me, say, I go pay, I'm going to pay and get a receipt. Then you go value the stuff again for the same day, 10 minutes after me don't pay. You want to value my things again. You want my receipt. And remember, say, I ask the person, I ask the immigration officer, say, I got a receipt. Steal my receipt. She said she don't want a receipt. No. I said to them, say, look here. I'm not going to pay no cash. I, no, I said, all the cash I got. They might direct me to an ATM outside. So go draw the money at the ATM and get the money. Come give them. Me say, I'm not going to go to no ATM to draw no money. When you got a card machine here, me will run the card machine that any, oh, anything happen at the Jamaican government getting the money. Because, I'm going to show you something now. You see, these immigration officers in Jamaica, they have a style like this, an immediate intimidation style. You see, two them want you to pay them. Two them want you to go ahead and pay them personally if you pay them for the, for the goods. You understand? And then you pay a little something to the government and you pay them for the goods. But 90% of the time, what you don't realize is the money that you pay to the government is already paid for the goods. When, you, when, them, when they intimidate you and tell you, say, you have to pay more money, the money that you're going to pay them now because you just want to get your goods and you don't want to pay this, all this money, is they going to shove that money inside their pockets? You understand? It's like a criminal entity for them, you know? You understand? These immigration officers is run a, a, a criminal entity, you know? You understand? But what I'm trying to say, just be careful of these immigration officers and watch out for these immigration officers trying to send you twice, go pay money, and especially when you're paying cash. You understand? Because the government supposed to got one set system where when, I'm, when you as an immigration officer come to me and you give me a sum of money to pay, that's the sum of money I'm supposed to pay. If you make mistake, that's your business. That's not, have nothing to do with me because you're supposed to be properly trained that you don't make that mistake, that simple mistake or whatever mistake you're going to make that you have to go back and come back and tell me, say, me owe more money still. And that was five minutes ago. You just talk to me about the same product. And that was five minutes ago. You go and do your paperwork for how much I supposed to pay for the product. What kind of foolishness is that? Hmm? You understand? But 90% of these immigration officers, I'm not going to say 100% because I got honest one also, but 90% of them is running a criminal entity in the government. You understand? And I'm, and I'm asking the government of Jamaica, Whosoever is set as the head over these immigration officers to make sure that they're treating the people, them and stop robbing the people them of Jamaica. And stop robbing the people them who trying to do business in Jamaica. Because that's where we're going to lose the disconnect of, of immigrants, our people who leave Jamaica and come back and trying to come back to do business. When you make it that difficult, we don't want to do business back in our country. Because of these things, because of this hustling mentality, we need to break out of that, brother. You see that hustling mentality what Jamaicans got? We need to break out of the hustling mentality, brother. And that's the problem. We also settle with us with our own self. You understand? We don't know how to cut out that hustling, hustling mentality, brother. You understand? It's 2024. The hustling mentality was back in the 1970s. You see me? You understand? Jamaica is a, is a first world country right now. It's not even a third world country no more. You understand? Whatever you want in this world, you can stay at Jamaica and get it right now. 
That means we is not no more third world nation. We is first world nation. No, no matter what they are America, no matter what they are China, no matter what they are Dubai, no matter where it at, we have it in Jamaica. You understand? So, what we want to ask the government of Jamaica is, take a look inside this entity for me, please. Mr. Holiness, take a look inside the people, because you can't be everywhere at, at, at once, you know. So that means you have to assign people to do other jobs. But you can hear from the people that these people that you assign to do these things is not doing a good job. And I'm one of, I, I, I got testimony. There's more than one incident of this thing happening to me or to other people that I have products going to Jamaica and they try the same, the same techniques. You understand? And it's more than one different immigration officer. So that means uh, it's a cult they develop. These immigration officers develop a cult of robbery. You understand? So, I mean, I'm just putting out this video that we all be aware of, of what we're doing with these people, custom officers, um, at the clearance customs. Because the problem is, um, they, they're always trying to, to make sure that they put more stress and pressure on you because they want you to make, to make a bargain with them, to pay them some money. So, peace out. You understand? Jamaica.